Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be removing and installing an optical drive in a 17-inch PowerBook G4. We have already shut down, unplugged, and placed our PowerBook on a soft, static-free workspace. We are now ready to begin. First, close the PowerBook and turn it upside down. Our first step is to remove the battery. To do so, push forward on the two levers, then lift the battery out and set it aside. Next, using our Phillips screwdriver, remove these three screws from the memory compartment cover and set the cover aside. To remove the old memory, pull outward on the retaining tabs until the memory pops loose and you are able to slide the memory up and out. Repeat for the top memory module. Next, we will remove these three Phillips screws from inside the battery compartment. Using your Torque T8 screwdriver, remove these two screws. We will now remove these five Phillips screws. Please note that the two outer screws are longer than the middle three screws. In the memory compartment, we need to remove this ribbon cable by opening the very small tabs using our nylon pry tool. Then simply lift the cable down and out of the slot. Now remove the four Phillips screws on the side of the power book where the monitor port is located. Next, remove the four Phillips screws on the opposite side of the power book. We will now remove the top of the power book by lifting from the back. If it sticks, please use your nylon pry tool. Set the top of the case to the side. The optical drive is located here. To remove the optical drive, Please remove these four screws. These are Torque 8 screws, so you will need your T8 screwdriver. Now use your nylon pry tool to remove the ribbon cable from the motherboard by lifting gently up until it comes free. Now remove the optical drive by sliding it up and out from underneath the other ribbon cable. We will now remove needed hardware from our old optical drive to use on the new drive. Remove the data connector by peeling it out of its socket. We need to remove this mounting bracket by removing the two Phillips screws. Now remove the two Phillips screws on the mounting bracket on the other side of the optical drive. We will now attach the hardware from our old optical drive to the new one. Align the first bracket in place and secure it using your Phillips screws. Repeat for this side of the drive as well. Now install the data connector in the socket. To install the new drive, slide it in place under the ribbon cable. Secure the optical drive with the Phillips screws, remembering that the smaller screw goes in the lower right hand corner.
Now push the data connector into the socket on the motherboard until it gently snaps into place. We will now replace the top of the case, aligning the keyboard ribbon cable in the opening on the motherboard. Make sure that the tabs are not bent and snap the top of the case back into place. Now close the power book and turn it over. Now replace the screws on the side of the power book where the display port is located. Replace the four screws on the other side of the power book. To connect the keyboard ribbon cable, turn the power book upside down and slide the ribbon cable in the slot. Then use the nylon pry tool to close the tabs. Now replace the five screws on the bottom rear of the power book, remembering that the two screws on each end are longer. Replace the two T8 Torx screws in the memory bay, remembering that the longer screw goes on the left side. Replace the three Phillips screws inside the battery compartment. Line up the notch on the memory module with a pin on the power book. Install the bottom slot first and push down until the memory module pops into place. Repeat for the second memory module. Slide the memory module cover back into place and screw in the three Phillips screws. Now reinstall the PowerBook's battery, making sure that it clicks and locks back into place. Now turn your PowerBook over, open the screen, and make sure everything is working properly.